storm front is and there oh gosh this roof really is a nightmare isn't it um I wonder if I can't park at a better angle for us. I don't think that I can. Unless, I'll tell you what I'll do, wait, Craig, let me, let me just drive slightly off the edge of the damn wall here, which will angle us like that. How's that? There we go. Better? No. If we point the camera out over there, yes, you see, look, we've lost the roof. All right, we're back there. We just had to switch one or two things in the final control. So here we are now waiting for some lightning to occur. I still think I'm probably not quite at the right angle, but let's just sit here for a little while. This is going to be a good place to watch it from. We're just not looking at the storm front, and of course the storm front is the most likely place for there to be lightning, because that's where it is charging itself. Oh, that animal dashing, Rebecca, was an impala. There are some nyala here as well as, oh my goodness gracious, did you see that, Craig? Did you miss it? It was terrifying. It was terrifying, Craig. I tell you, it was terrifying. I can just hear the thunder going as well. Let's see if we can't get a picture of it. You know, of course, that's illegal. So I'm not going to really try and get a picture. I am really. I find lightning rather fascinating. I think we all do, although, of course, it is rather terrifying. Ah, and now all the birds have gone silent in anticipation, almost, I think, of what is sure to be, or what could be, quite a big storm. And so there's just one or two, one or two little uh, blacksmith lapwings calling, one or two Franklins as they disappear to hide in amongst the bushes. And maybe we can have a look at some of the animals. Have you had any lightning there, Craig? I'm watching the other side. Let's go and have a look at the animals there. Oh, we have had some lightning, oh, that's good. There are some Nyala. They are completely unaffected. Well, the one on the left, is right, is Nyala. The rest are Impala. So I think maybe that male Nyala has got a slight um, identity crisis. As, as it gets dark, of course, these animals like to move towards the lodge because, well, I think the predators do slightly avoid the lodges if they can. Such a feeling of expectation at a time like, yo, that was a good one. Did you see that? No. <laughs> we'll just sit here for another minute and then we'll move off. Jamie, of course, has got to move quite quickly to get home because she's a long way out. I'm glad we saw Tingana. Do you say how will the storms affect the hippo? I don't think they'll affect them at all, you know. I think that they'll be uh, relatively okay with any storms. They might stay in the water, I suppose, because the wind will make them a little bit more vulnerable. So it's quite possible that they would stay in the water as opposed to go out if the storm was at night time, uh, which often they are sort of around this time of the year. So perhaps they'd stay in the water because they felt a little bit more vulnerable. But I guess then, yeah, I mean, that would be the only thing I would say I would suspect that they might try and do. But otherwise, I wouldn't imagine hugely. Uh, every so often you do find an animal that has been struck by lightning. But of course, we do not want to increase the chances of that. So I've got to tell you, if this lightning gets too much worse, we're going to head for home. In fact, we're going to head towards home fairly shortly.
Marissa, you were wondering about how many thunderstorms we get and if we get a lot of them. Marissa, we do get quite a few thunderstorms in this area. That's where most of the rain falls. I mean, some of it falls as frontal rain, but a lot of it comes as these big thund sudden thunderstorms, especially if there's a system off the Mozambican coast uh, of some sort of cyclone. And that's often what we'll get. But oh, yee, that was quite something. Um, we don't, we don't get um, them anything like as frequently though as they do on the highlands. So in the high felt around Johannesburg and Belfast and Dulstrom and those areas which are much higher up, they tend to be much more severe storms, especially lightning storms and Johannesburg lightning and thunderstorms. I remember growing up with them as a child and loving lying in, safe in my bed at night and listening to the storms and then going to live in Cape Town where they don't have them at all. They've just got sort of three months of rain every year in just sodding uh, or soaking sodding rain and it would come through for months at a time with no thunderstorms and I remember being so depressed by it because there was just no and um, so I quite like storms but that's because I grew up with them all right I think we need to start moving towards home now we might have to be do we have to be stationary no we don't I think we can carry on we should be right all right there, Craig, you're from Durban.